Welcome back everyone. Uh, today I'm uh, on the banks of the Yarra River, as you can see from behind me. And what am I doing here? Well, the idea is to uh, hopefully get an interview with uh, a 95 year old rower. That's right, 95 years old. So we'll just see how this goes. Um, he's off um, changing into his uh, rowing gear at the moment. And um, hopefully um, a little bit uh, in a little bit of time, we'll be able to interview him, so we'll just see how it goes. Meet Don Christie, a 95-year-old, or should I say 96-year-old, rower. Here's Don with his daughter, Roz, who I know from the uh, Shimming Flames Dance Company. Now, Don is a bit of a, a celebrity in the rowing world. He's uh, well known uh, because of his longevity. Hello, Don. Hello, Cliff. Why not? Yeah, you remember my name. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Don, so I hope you don't mind. I just wanted to interview you today and, and about your rowing. Um, so you're 95, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I am 95. Right. But with rowing. Yeah. How long have you been uh, rowing? The, the rowing starts a bit like that. It's a bit like the horse's birthday. The, that's on the 1st of August. But rowing is the 1st of January for the whole year. Yeah. So I'm now classed as 96. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. But when did you start rowing? How long ago? I, I started rowing in about 1948. Oh, wow. I was only about 18, I think. Around about then. Yeah. And then in uh, uh, the club, club rowing was on. But the biggest, I'm not, I'll move over this one a bit. You're right. So I just, that's right. <laughs> no, I've got the, the light, that, that's you. Oh, is that better? Yeah. Yeah, no rush. Yeah. No, the, be, the biggest race I ever had yeah. was I was elected to row in the King's Cup. Oh, wow. That was in 1954. Right. And, and whereabouts was that on the on the yard? No, that, that was in Tasmania. Oh, Tasmania. Three, that was a three-mile race. Oh, wow. With, uh, and you're competing against uh, other states. Yep, yep. Yeah. So I was in the Victorian group. Yep. Mowed in the bow seat, and we won. <laughs> <laughs> we won that wow. 154. And, and, and then in... Then in 1955, I was elected to row in the King's Cup again. Yep. And that was held in Tasmania. Oh, wow. No, not Tasmania. Oh, it is. No, in South Australia. Yep. And uh, and we were going well. That was the three-mile race. And we'd gone about two miles, and we. Oh, we were a couple of lengths in front, and the coxswain steered us over over a mud flat. Oh no! And we got. Are you serious? We got stuck, <laughs> trying to jam our way out. <laughs> and that that time, the crew that was we were sitting in front of. Yeah. They passed us, and by the time we got got away from the mud flat. Um, we couldn't catch them. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, well. So they beat us, yeah. 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 Any other... Um... Uh, and then the next... I, I missed out on getting a, a seat in the uh, Olympic Games. Right. Um, in 56. Wow. Uh, that was a year after I was born. <laughs> yeah, in 56. Uh, and they thought I was too... Too small or too light, because oh. I only weighed about a bit over seven kilo. <laughs> Anyhow, I didn't get a seat in that. Oh, okay. And uh, and some of them crew later on said, if, if, if you'd have, if I'd been rowing it, we would have won that, <laughs> but we didn't. Anyhow, uh, and then in '58. Yeah. Uh, there was the Empire Games race, right? right? 
And where was that held? Oh, that was, oh, uh, I don't know. It was, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure it was in Europe. Uh, I'm not sure, I can't remember where it was in there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but um, in the test race, <laughs> I, I, I was elected to row in the, in the eight again, mm -hmm. but this time I was rowed in, in the seven seat. Oh, okay, yeah. And uh, anyhow, we, we beat, that was over 2,000 metres. <laughs> uh, we, we got beaten by, by... That much? By about two, two feet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we missed out by New South Wales. Oh. So, oh, well. so what we did in compensation, I got, we got married <laughs> 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 to Velda. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. And um, any other memorable races you can remember? Well, they're the, they're the three big main ones, mm -hmm. but there have been lots of other smaller races right. that, that we've done in the pairs. Yep. Pairs and fours. And you, I was going to ask you that. So, so you you do row fours and pairs. Pairs, fours, and eights. Yeah. All of them. Okay. Very good. Mm. Have you ever sculled? No, I haven't. Haven't raced in skulls. Okay. Okay. Is there a reason for that? Why? Uh, well, when I started rowing, uh, I, I never got a chance to to go sculling because oh, okay. it was always needed to row oh, either in. Yeah. Yeah. Pairs and fours, <laughs> and so, that was with Albert Park. Yeah, I understand. Mm. So, have you rowed virtually all your life? Yeah. Okay. And what do you go out regularly every every week, every month? Every oh no, uh, we've been rowing regularly uh, twice a week. Mm. Twice a week. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, oh, that's since <laughs> since I've got older. And we row twice a week. And when you Tuesday row, mornings and okay. Thursday mornings. And when you do row now, you're on the Yarra. Yeah. And how do, do you do a K or like one 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 kilometre or half a kilometre? Oh no, we 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 row for uh, oh that's probably nearly an hour because oh okay so it's now now with the old crew I'm with you. Uh, we row up to uh, Scotch College. Ah, I'm with you. So it's more yeah. of a Gentle, just ride up to the sky. Oh, well, we do hard bits. Yeah, yeah. Depending whether we uh, uh, are training for any coming races. Yeah. So we do a bit of, quite a few bit of hard yeah, bits. Yeah. So we ride, takes us about, about an hour. Okay. Half hour up yeah. and back. Half hour back. Oh, wow. Um, have, that, you, have, have you ever rode on the Murray? Uh, there was a there was a Murray. Uh, it's yes. called the uh, Royal Fire and Doctor Service Murray. Uh, yeah, River, yes, Murray, I did Murray did row on the Murray, Mildura uh, and Wentworth. Yeah, that's correct. Yes, mm. you've done that, have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good row. I've done that. Yeah, I've oh. rowed that. <laughs> we we yeah. we um, we do twenty twenty kilometre stints and then we swap over to the next crew and yeah, it was a ninety kilometre race down the river. Oh no, we haven't. Oh, you haven't done that. Okay. I haven't done that one. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> no, there was the Empire. That was Mildura. And then Wentworth, that's on the Darling, just before it joins into the Murray. That's right. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, so the, uh, the other so question I've got for you, I assume you've seen the big changes in the boats over the years. Oh, yes. They've gone from the old... The, the wooden clinkers, the, the wooden clinkers. <laughs> and now, now you've got uh, fib fiberglass, yeah. Uh, and these yeah. these ones are now carbon fiber. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I've lost track yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, they're they're very, a light lighter boat than very light. Oh, they're still pretty heavy to carry, but <laughs> well, as, as you're getting older, they're getting heavier. <laughs> okay, here's an interesting question. Over all the types of boats you've rowed in, what would be your favourite? Oh. I, I think the eight, 
a problem, eh? Right, okay. But we roll, we roll oats in the head of the era. Yep. That's once a year. Yeah. The last Saturday in, in, in November. And that that's uh, uh, eight, uh, eight and a half K. Yep, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, eight and a half K. Yeah. In an eight. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not... It, it, it takes us uh, about 40 minutes now. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, what other question can I uh, ask? Oh, well, there was in um, uh, 19, um, in two, 2010, yep. I had an open heart surgery. Oh, wow. I had a new valve installed in the aorta. <laughs> <laughs> and then in 2000, uh, on that, um, I missed a year's rowing in that one. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. 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 Uh, and then uh, in 2000, no, certainly, 2017, mm. um, I had a, a knee replacement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's your hips? Still got your hips? No, 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 no the hips are all right. No, okay. no, so I had the operation in February. Yep. And I rode in, in the head of the hour in November. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to stop you, is it? <laughs> Nothing's going to stop you. No, no. The, uh, that's good enough. The, the doctor that did my knee, he, he was a, an oarsman too. Yeah. One of the. Awesome foursome group. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember in, him. In, in the in the Olympics. Mm. So he he was became the surgeon. Oh wow. That does the knees, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the scar down. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And and you're still going strong. Yeah, still wow. going strong. Impressive. Mm. Don't so they're the only, <laughs> they're the only big events. That no, that's fine. That's fine. Have, have, yeah. have happened. What, what, so, well, one last question. We'll, we'll wrap this up in a moment. Um, why do you think you like rowing so much? Uh, well, it's um, a good form of exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. And the uh, uh, rowing with the, the group of part of the, the camaraderie. Uh, you know, you get all, all friends. Yep. And so we meet. Yeah. You meet. We have our row, and and then a cup of coffee, and then you. So it's a social type. Thing, yeah, yeah, social yeah. club. And okay. then, you, <laughs> then you go home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's yeah. I I started actually when it all started back in '48. The Elba Park Rowing Club um, put sent a note to the YMCA that they learned to row free. Or <laughs> 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 well, there's something for nothing. So I thought, oh, well, that's how it started. And and am I to believe you? Did you row in the very first head of the head of the river? Did it where? Head of the river. Uh, is that the, oh, is that? the head of the yeah, head of the era. So, so we, was that one? Of, did that you was, row on the very first one of those? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, that was in nineteen fifty. Wow. Fifty-seven, I think yeah, it is. Okay. Right. Fifty-seven was the first head of the era. Right. In those days, it was it were in miles. So they used to call it was a five, it was a five mile race. Yep. Five miles. Mm. Wow. So now now when you've gone <laughs> <laughs> metric. It's now eight, eight and a bit yep. kilometres. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm. And that missed out a couple of years when they were building the, the tunnel. Yeah. Um, and after that, it then, on then we didn't row at the head of the hour in the um, COVID That's shutdown. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it was two you years. Couldn't do that. Yeah, that was two so years. Uh, so are only, the only two years you haven't rowed? Had, they missed out. So, but what I'm saying, in all that time, mm. they're the only two that you've missed out on. 
Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but otherwise, I, I've had it at home. I've got a a uh, uh, <coughs> a rowing machine. Yep. Yeah. So. And you practice at home. Yeah, I can do a practice at home. Yeah. yeah. So I can. Well, often, I, I from rowing from the head of the arrows coming up. Uh, I, I row for probably half an hour. Yeah. So you're very passionate about it, obviously. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you do for row for half an hour, and that that's a quick, it's a that's a bit over five kilometres. <laughs> <laughs> Don, I think we'll wrap it up. I think mm. um, that'll do for the moment, and uh, yeah. I thank you very much. I really appreciate this. So which boat are you going to be in? Which boat are you rowing?